So I had gotten a new Elgato HD60X USB capture card and I was having issues where it worked fine, audio was fine, but just gradually as I would play a game throughout the stream or whatever, audio would get more and more out of sync. Now I could toggle the source on and off or do what other people recommended with disabling buffering and stuff and it would fix it for a, an amount of time, but it would always come back. And I finally found the solution that I just wanted to share. Now this is the HD60X that I have, but this will pertain to several other capture cards having those same issues, whether it's an HD60S or HD60 or maybe not even an Elgato card, maybe something else. So the first thing we're going to do, whenever you add your card to OBS, what you probably did, you just added it as a video object and audio worked and was ready to go. The problem is with the buffering issues you're going to have here. So here's our settings. I note, I've always had better luck with adding custom resolution 1080p hard setting 60. Whenever I take the device default or any of that stuff, I sometimes had other issues. So we don't want to use this for audio. Let's look at our mixer. The first thing we want to do is we want to disable to where this isn't capturing audio anymore. So I had this audio object for it. If you see this in here, you can go to your advanced audio properties. And what I did for that was I just uncheck the channels or that video object and go ahead and set monitor off as well. Depending on, that'll be different depending on how you do your audio, but just make sure you just turn all of that off so that you're not hearing that and you don't have overlap. After you're done with that and you're not gonna need this anymore, you can hide it. That way you're not seeing it in there. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new audio input capture. I already have this, so I'm not gonna go through that. But the properties of this, what you're gonna add is your game capture HD60X or whatever your device is, you'll find it in here and you'll add it that way. After you do that, it will show up in the mixer over here. So from the mixer, we're gonna go ahead and hit that little menu button, advanced audio properties, and just make sure that it's capturing that. I, I capture all of my desktop audio. So things that I want to be heard on the desktop, I do monitor only and that gets it going and it doesn't double the audio. Now, if you don't capture all your desktop and you do each thing individually, you'll do monitor and output. But for my case, I'm doing monitor only because I just capture my whole desktop. After I did that, so now you've got this object. You will have to remember that each scene you're using that has this HD60X, for example, video object, you're also gonna make sure you add that audio object that you created as well. After I did that, that took care of all the buffering issues and things were good to go. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks.